Hi everyone and welcome to Astas. Today I want to show you how to make one of my most favourite designs. It's a little woodland mossy floral arrangement that could be used for a table, you could put it onto an occasional table. Great if you're having a dinner party and you don't want any fast. You can use fresh or artificials. I'm going to use a combination and this is the container that I'm going to use. I found this at my wholesalers here in New Zealand the other day. It's absolutely beautiful. I love all of this moss and when I look at it, it gives me that lovely sense of calm and peace. So what I've done is I've put a block and a bit of floral foam into there and because it's wet I'm going to um, put fresh plants straight into it. So I've got this little plant here which I'm just going to put down into there like so and I've got this stuff here. I got this in the bush not so long ago when I had a wee wander through and I thought oh my goodness that is just gorgeous. So I'm just going to put that into there and the other thing I'm doing is because it's wet um, floral foam just by pushing that into there this should continue to grow. Now I've got another piece here and it just comes off when you see it in the forest or the bush um, I don't know whether you can get this at your place wherever you are in the world but usually it just grows on this little viney thing here on top of a, uh, a log and over here it's got all these little wee sort of like spores coming up and there's lots of spores in there so if I keep it wet it will continue to, oh that'll be the helicopter, never mind it'll be gone in a minute. Right from there I've also got this little plant here, I thought I would put that into there so that can go into there like so, pushing that into, ah, a bit rough but never mind, that'll be fine. Now I've got this lovely vine and what I'm going to do with that is cut that off there, I'm going to put that into there and even though it's artificial it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day can you really tell? So just by doing that I've actually extended the whole design out and it's really nice having this lovely little green sort of creepery thing just coming around the exterior of the container Just and that also as I said that helps to just extend the container out a bit further. Now you wouldn't usually see little crocuses like this but in the spring this is what I like to do, I like to put the little bulbs straight in so we'll put that into there. I've got a few succulents so I'm going to put, whoops there's the price, we'll get rid of that, put that into there like that. And then I've got another one so I'm just going to step that into there and even though that's resting above that it doesn't really matter so I'll push that down, push that one down a bit further. I've got a slightly smaller one there that I'll put into there and I've got this lovely sponge moss so that can go down into there. Right what else have I got? Ah I've got a little bird's nest I thought that could just sort of pop into there like that and I've got a little bird and a bird belongs to sit into there. How easy is that? Really cute lovely way of designing. You could use your daffodils, you could use crocuses, whatever you've got but once you've got your main structure set up it just goes on and on and on. I hope you enjoyed that, I enjoyed making it, it's going to look lovely at my next dinner party. See you another day. Thank you.